Yoan Moncada, a switch hitting future superstar. Some people are comparing him to a Robinson Cano. Some kind of offensive combination of Robinson Cano and Mike Trout. A switch hitting Yasiel Puig. The contract is going to be somewhere in the 40 to $50 million range. Ooh. Remember, there's a 100% tax on the contract. He's a young player, he's talented, and this guy is going to be a phenomenal prospect. Well, you wonder why they're talking such big money for a guy who hasn't sniffed the big leagues yet when you got comps to those three players. Uh, I guess I could see why. He's just 19 years old, switch hitter from Cuba. The question is, when will he sign with the team? Nobody knows exactly for sure, but our MLB Network insider John Paul Morosi may have a little bit of insight, at least as to who the front runners might be for the youngster, Yoan Moncada. Who you got? Well, Paul, as you heard Ken Rosenthal say just a minute ago in that montage, there is that potential 100% tax on whatever bonus Moncada gets, and that is steering this pursuit, I believe, and a number of sources believe, towards a team like the Dodgers or the Yankees. This is probably going to be a large market-type signing. That being said, Paul, we have to keep in mind, we've been surprised before by Cuban players coming over. There wasn't a lot of talk about the Reds when Chapman signed or the A's when Cespedes signed. So we could be surprised. But given the magnitude of where this money is probably going, Paul, it looks like those big market teams, the Dodgers and Yankees, are at the top of the list, according to at least one GM I spoke with today. Now, I did check in today, Paul, with David Hastings, who is the agent for Yuan Moncada. And as of this morning, Paul, he said he does not have a formal offer in hand yet. So it may happen this week, but if it doesn't, uh, look for a resolution by the end of next week at the latest. Well, it sounds like that's one of maybe the last big shoe to drop, at least among those free agents that are out there. And then there are those relief pitchers as well. How about K-Rod and uh, Rafael Soriano? Where do you think they end up? Well, Paul, I checked with the source today on this and was told that both K-Rod and Soriano are weighing offers right now. Now, one team I want to draw your attention to here, I don't have it confirmed that this team has made offers to them, but I want to make sure I point this out. The Los Angeles Dodgers, Paul, are still looking to upgrade that, that bullpen, and they may be in the market for one of these two guys. Remember, you go back to the playoffs last year, Kershaw has gotten a lot of the blame for that, but the problem was Mattingly did not have enough relievers he could trust. So the Dodgers still want to add one more reliever back there. I've also heard perhaps the Indians, and remember the Brewers as well, had those talks with Papelbon, didn't work out there with the Phillies, so keep them in mind. I did check on the Toronto Blue Jays tonight, Paul. I was told the Blue Jays are not actively pursuing either K-Rod or Soriano. Well, we'll see where those guys end up. And another thing we'll keep an eye on this spring is whether or not Chris Bryant does enough. We know about the promise of this kid, but whether or not he does enough to break camp with the Cubs. What do you think? Well, Paul, this to me is going to be one of the great storylines of the spring. You go back in, in years past and you've seen teams be very cautious with their superstar prospects waiting till the Super 2 deadline or at least the free agent uh, date comes around so they get that extra year of control, especially when the player, as in this case, is represented by Scott Boris. However, you're also now hearing from the Cubs this year from Joe Madden, from Anthony Rizzo, talking about the World Series, winning the division. If you're going to talk about that, don't you have to have your best team on the field opening day? And now that is where this discussion is going to come into play. The Cubs want to see Chris Bryant maybe shore up his defense a little bit there at third base. They do have a couple guys, Mike Olt, Tommy Listella will be in camp, have a chance to win that opening day job. But there's no doubt, Paul, after trading Luis Valbuena, this job is Chris Bryant's at some point in time. Let's see if he forces the issue there in spring training. Are you suggesting the Cubs are hungry for a World Series championship, John Paul? I'm just kidding. Of course you are. Just a little uh, bit. Just a maybe. little bit. It's been after 100-plus years, maybe. <laughs> it's been a few years. Uh, how about the San Diego Padres? They have a really nice-looking rotation, at least those first four spots. you got Shields, Tyson Ross, Andrew Kastner, Ian Kennedy. Put them in whatever order you want. But what about that number five spot? Yeah, Paul, this is one of the, I think, hidden gems of this move signing James Shields is they really now lengthen the back end of their rotation. They have tremendous depth, and one name I was told is going to be in the mix for that fifth spot is Casey Kelly. We've almost forgotten about him. Of course, he was in the Adrian Gonzalez trade a number of years ago, extremely highly rated draft pick for the Boston Red Sox before that trade. He had Tommy John surgery two years ago. He returned a little bit last year towards the end of the season in the minor leagues, and the Padres are very encouraged with what they have 
in Casey Kelly. Now, they'll probably be a bit cautious with him in spring training. They, of course, have Odris Lemaire d'Espagne as well. They may also have Brandon Morrow, Robbie Erlin. They may eventually have Josh Johnson coming back in May or June, and Corey Lubke as well. But Casey Kelly is one guy, Paul. He had tremendous upside coming out of the draft, a very highly regarded person and prospect. Keep an eye on him there in Peoria, Arizona, this spring in Padres camp. As they say, whoever they are, you can never have enough pitching. John Paul Morosi, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you again soon. <laughs>